new intro so much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two-year period plus that i've been doing this um thank you for showing your uh love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel also you can do it by way of patreon anchor the clothing store and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below and again thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you a massachusetts man was arrested over the weekend after allegedly groping a minor at a family activity center and amusement park in connecticut daniel peralt age 49 stands accused of one account of risk of injury to a minor via sexual contact with a victim under the age of 16 and one count of assault in the fourth degree and one count of breach of peace in the second degree over an alleged incident that occurred at sunny's place in summers connecticut late saturday night according to an arrest report and criminal information the connecticut state troopers were dispatched to the indoor slash outdoor mini golf go-kart slash arcade and restaurant complex in response to report of a quote male who allegedly and inappropriately touched a minor at the location quote the alleged female victim stated that a male had grabbed her backside the victim's 23 year old cousin witnessed the incident the report also states that the alleged victim was not injured According to the Connecticut State Police, the defendant was identified by the Massachusetts Operator License, a form of certification necessary for operating certain heavy machinery in the Bay State. A state trooper by the name of Matthew Burst and Sergeant Jaina Mazaria noted that Peralt appeared to be intoxicated at the time he was approached by law enforcement on the night in question. The defendant allegedly told police that he had no recollection of the incident when questioned. He was subsequently then arrested and charged early Sunday morning over the 11.30 p.m. Saturday alleged assault. The police reports note that Peralt was, quote, transported to Troop C where he was processed according to the department procedures. After being charged, the defendant was granted a cash slash surety bond in the amount of $20,000 and released. The dual nature of the bond means it is likely that the cash amount was not paid in full. If convicted as charged, Peralt could face a statutory maximum of 25 years and six months in prison. The defendant is currently being scheduled for an initial appearance in Rockville Superior Court on August 25th at 9 a.m. So my question is, where are the men in this community? Where are the men to stand up for these uh, young girls? whenever they happen to go out to uh, a mall to a park to an amusement uh place right where are the men to protect them and to make sure that this does not happen where are the men in that community to put men like this in check because every single time that i turn around and i happen to look online and i see stories it's always men that look exactly like this who are going after children who are going after minors but yet as you heard in the story he was able to give a bail might not have even been the full amount but yet he's still out he was still released and he's expected to show back up in court which means that after he did this he still has enough time to go out into everyday life and commit the exact same act he did. The only difference is he's going to be a little bit more cautious. He's going to be a little bit more careful about it. He's going to look over his shoulder. Like I said before, where specifically this take place? Meaning, is there any cameras that were nearby? Were there any other adults other than the older cousin who saw what it is that took place? There had to be more people around. There had to be other men around it could not have just been an empty area right where it was just three people i find that highly unlikely right and even if that were the case right that's a problem within itself because at no point in time should you have a 
a teenager and an adult woman by themselves in some you know type of area right at any time because anything can and more than likely will happen as we clearly saw here because if the 23 year old cousin was not there at that moment in time more than likely something else worse would have taken place like i said before things like this happen because they're allowed to happen they're allowed to transpire they're allowed to take place because these things are not you know in a sense seen as as criminal type behavior right things like this are becoming normalized day by day by day by day right pretty soon what's going to happen is that whenever you know individuals like this happen to get caught instead of them going to jail or prison they're going to go to a treatment facility right to be seen and to have an evaluation right and they might get put on some prescriptions they might not and then they'll be released out to do the exact same things that they've always been doing and I want to remind people, this is not the first time that I've covered stories exactly like this. I've covered a story before where you've had a judge that allowed a repeat offender, not once, not twice, not three times, but basically four times to commit the exact same crime that he was arrested for the very first time. And that same judge allowed that person time and time and time again to go back out to proceed to do the exact same things that they've always done like i said before at the end of the day it's up to parents it's up to you know guardians to 100 percent protect um you know their kids directly from individuals like this but anyways let me know what you guys think about this video and everything that i listed in the comment description below and as always peace love and stay tuned for the next video